Good morning, fellow Zimbabweans. We are now on day number 10 <coughs> of the, uh, this flag challenge, where we are carrying our flags, talking to our government, whether they are listening to us or not, the voices are getting louder. Let us, the citizens, have our country back. You cannot ignore us anymore. We are carrying our flags and we are demonstrating to you in a non-violent but direct and truthful way. We are not mincing our words about what it is that we want you to take note of. Stop talking to yourselves, Chete. Don't talk just to intellectuals. We are the people that are being affected by the things that you are doing. We want you to hear us. You can't ignore us anymore. Today we, 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 we are saying stop ambushing us with policy changes overnight. Munongo moka maka chinja zinu. What happened to talking to us? Marino ngonzia chinja. Kudara, you used to announce it six months in advance when you were changing one note. You would explain why you were doing it. You would explain the effects. Today you don't do that anymore. Talk to us. Don't ambush us with policy. Number two, stop banning things. When citizens are trying to survive and we're trying to find means and ways to get around the policy changes that are not working and we found a way, don't just come and ban things. And those, that is, this is what is making us now united against our government. No citizen wants to ever rise up against their government. But when you do things like that, we unite. So don't just ban whatever you find that the citizens are now doing. Of course, yes, we understand that there's the rule of law. But look at it and use your mind because you know these people are trying to survive. Number three, the demolishing of homes that you did and that you continue to do stop please just don't do that and your inspectors came to have a look at those homes and now you come and demolish those homes it's inhuman we 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 we, we are we are look we are, we are, we are, we don't want a country of thieves and if you guys can stop being thieves we will stop being thieves too and Murugzona. Yes, no, their prayers, all the pastors are praying, they are rallying people to pray for you. But now people are getting to a point of frustration where they are saying, Let me talk to you, the citizen, now. I know you have watched these videos, you have seen me, people are talking about Mawari and it's, I'm, I'm glad you're standing behind me. But this, this flag, it's not for me, it's for you. This flag is a citizen's movement. Own it. You have your voice. Remain a place where you are not insulting anyone. We are just saying enough is enough as a people. And there are things that we can do. For example, we are all taking our money out of the banks. We are all taking our money out. And that's a citizen acting. I'm exercising my right to take my money out. I'm going to the bank. And until you politicians realize that, the citizens will continue to do that. So citizens, own this movement. Get your own video. Do you, Take your own phone. Make your own video. Tell them what to do. Post it and let the voices grow. Tomorrow is day 11. We are not letting down. We keep growing across this country, outside this country. Every Zimbabwean citizen is now realizing Kutindini Moon, who has got the job to build this country. And for the first time in our lives, we are not giving that job away. God bless you. We see you day 11. Carry your flag. This flag. Our country. We fight for it and we live for it. We build this country. God bless you. Day number 10 today. Mangwana day 11. Borambir.